Good morning. This is Pastor Pete Seifert from Northminster Presbyterian Church in Tucson, Arizona. It's Thursday morning. Congratulations. We're almost through the week. Uh, I have a devotional thought for you today. And it started off with me being a little annoyed uh, when I got an email about a software upgrade that I have the option to get. And it's going to be costly, and I'm not really excited about software upgrades usually. I don't know. What's your thought about upgrades? Maybe if we're talking about the Wildcats, maybe we'd like to talk about having an upgrade at point guard or uh, center or one of our players or, I don't know, we don't even want to think about the coaching situation. Anyway, time, it is time to bear down. Regardless, the, uh, the idea of having an upgrade can sometimes be exciting, sometimes it can be a little frustrating or annoying. Because I think it has to do about change. In Isaiah chapter 43, the prophet reminds us, it says in verse 18, Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I'm doing a new thing, the prophet says. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? God's word to us is that God is going to do something new among us, that we shouldn't be dwelling on the past. Maybe we shouldn't be worrying about whatever upgrades God has for us in this week. So friends, on this Thursday, where is it in your life? that God might be wanting to bring forth a stream in the desert. God's wanting to bring something new where there is a needed opportunity for God to be at work. Uh, don't close your minds or your thoughts to the possibilities that God might have for you in this. God's living and dynamic. God doesn't change, but certainly God will change and move in the, situa the situations that are around us. And that's something that we can be hopeful in. It can be a little anxiety producing. But God is the one who's in control, not us. So may your faith be deepened and just may all of us uh, find ways to be in deeper reliance on this God who brings new things, even out of changes. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.